So, to make reliable fittings, I've learned that this is the best that I can find. I've tried all the other colors and and stuff, and this seems to work the best from everything that I've we've done. So, um, when you're building up your fittings, it's best to set them all out. Um, you might be tempted to just use the regular Teflon tape alone, but I find with expansion and contraction and over time, it can leak. And sometimes even right away it leaks. Um, same thing with any other paste. You just gotta do your very best. So when you're doing your very best, I advise you to use this yellow stuff. And if you do two fittings at a time, you can save a little bit of time because you're getting them both dirty. You don't need to get the entire threads pasted. Just do the action part. And that's the last quarter inch is the action part. And um, you can do it on same size fittings. You can do it on different size fittings. It's always on the outside of the threads. You don't have to worry about getting paste on the inside of the threads, just the outside. All right, so I'm gonna do several, and so that's why I'm mocking them all up right now, because these all need to be done, so I just as well do them all, and then I can show you how to do it. Now this, this uh, that's enough. You might wanna put on more if you're only doing paste, but I'm doing a combination of paste and Teflon tape. A lot of people think, well, why bother doing both? Um, the reason why I'm wearing gloves is because it makes your fingers stained. Um, to start the tape out, it does not have to be flat, but at some point it needs to be flat. And a couple of wraps is all you need if you're combining it with tape. You know it's done when it squishes out just a little bit and, and uh, you don't have to go wait wicked tight, just uh, finger tight and then another turn approximately. Now, when you're wrapping, uh, I'm gonna wrap this backwards on purpose just to show you what happens. So the tape is the same direction as my thread. So now I'm going around the first time Going around the second time now, pull back just a little bit so you can see how long this is getting. See how far away my hand is from the fitting? Every time I do one wrap, it gets longer and you have to roll this up. So that makes it difficult. My advice is don't do it that way. Turn this over. That's all I did was turn that over. It's the same direction. I do these clockwise. You gotta do them clockwise or else they'll loosen when you tighten it into the fitting. And notice that this has a Z pattern and it tightens and I'm letting this spin every time I go around and that makes it spin. Now, that's flat on my finger and that broke off real clean and it makes for a clean fitting. And like I say, you only need the action part of the fitting. If you're tightening these all the way in, it's either a bad fit fitting or you're tightening them too tight. And a little bit of putty and three, two to three wraps is all you need. A paste, it's paste. It's not putty, it's paste. I keep calling it the wrong thing sometimes. That's all right. So that's how that goes. And then give it an extra turn and that one's ready to be installed and that's how you do it so if you follow those little tips you'll you'll get it thank you see the squishing out right there you see it a little bit squish out now, you might think, why do I not put putty on 
the outside of the threads. I paste, it's paste. Anyway, why do we not put paste on the outside of the Teflon tape? It's because it does squish out just like that. And that gets both threads squishing out. Okay.